In today's video, I will teach you how to show the toolbox in GIMP when you accidentally hide the two options. Let's get started. If you accidentally hide the two options in GIMP and want to show them again, here's a quick step-by-step -step guide. First, launch GIMP on your computer. If the Tool Options dialog box is not visible, you'll need to access the Dockable Dialogs menu. Simply go to the menu bar, then go to Windows. Then select Dockable Dialogs, and in the Dockable Dialogs menu, find and click on the Tool Options. This should toggle the display of the Tool Options dialog box. Once the Tool Options dialog box is visible, you can adjust its position within the GIMP interface. To do this, click on the title bar of the Tool Options dialog box, then drag it to a suitable location within the GIMP workspace. This is an optional step, but you can save the layout. If you want to save your current layout for future use, you can do so by going to Windows, Single Window Mode, then select Save Window Positions Now. Another optional step is customizing the layout. You can further customize the layout of your GIMP workspace by arranging and docking various panels according to your preferences. To do this, drag panels to dock them together. Resize panels by clicking and dragging their edges and creating custom layouts that suits your workflow. Another optional step is saving your preferences. If you have made significant changes to the layout and want to save them for future GIMP sessions, you can go to Edit, Preferences, and navigate to the Interface section. There, you can save your preferences by clicking the Save button. And if necessary, you can restart GIMP. Sometimes, changes may take effect only after restarting GIMP. If you have made adjustments to the layout and they don't seem to be applied, try restarting the application. Now you should have the tool options visible in GIMP, and remember that GIMP allows a high degree of customization in terms of interface layout so you can tailor it to your specific needs and preferences. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.